Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be understanding about a new concept of divide and conquer approach that is quick sort. The things which we are going to cover in this video are what do you mean by quick sort, the working of quick sort, example related to quick sort, and we'll be able to understand the time complexity and the space complexity that has been taken by quick sort and the implementation, how to implement it. Quick sort using C program. So, what do you mean by quick sort? How actually it is going to work? The algorithm was developed by a British computer scientist, Tom Ory, in 1959. The name quick sort comes from the fact that quick sort is capable of sorting a list of data elements significantly faster than any in any of the other common sorting algorithms. It is one of the most efficient sorting algorithms and is based on the splitting of an array that is partitioning into smaller ones and swapping based on the comparison with pivot element, element selected. Due to this quick sort is also called as partition exchange sort. Like merge sort, quick sort also falls into the category of divide and conquer approach of problem solving methodology. The working of quick sort. Taking the analogy view in perspective, consider a situation where one had to sort the papers bearing the names of students by name from A to Z. One might use the approaches as follows. Select any splitting value, say L. The splitting value is also known as pivot. Divide the stack of papers into two, A to L and M to Z. It is not necessary that the piles should be equal. Repeat the above two steps with A to L pile, splitting it into its significant hard two halves and M to Z pile, split it into it, its halves. The process is repeated un until the piles are small enough to be sorted easily. Ultimately, the smaller piece can be placed on one on top of the other to produce a fully sorted and ordered set of papers. The approach used here is reduction at each split to get to the single element array. At every split, the pile was divided and then the same approach was used for the small piles by using the method of recursion. Let us look at an example. Consider the following array of elements having 50, 23, 9, 18, 61, and 32 to be the elements. We need to sort this array in the most efficient manner without using an extra space. That is, now we will be using quick sort. The solution is first step make any element as pivot. How we are going to do it? Using you are going to decide any value to be the pivot from the list. For convenience of code, we often select the rightmost index as pivot or select any at random and swap with rightmost. Suppose for two R values, low and i corresponding to the first index and the last index respectively. In our case, low is 0 and high is 5. Values at low and i are 50 and 32 and the value of pivot is 32. Now, call for partitioning which rearranges the array in such a way that pivot that is 32 comes to its actual position of the sorted array. And to the left of the pivot, the array has all the elements less than it and to the right greater than it. In the partition function, we start from the first element and compare it with the pivot. Since 50 is greater than 32, we don't need to make any change and move on to the next element that is 23. Compare again with pivot. Since 23 is less than 32, we swap 50 and 23. The array becomes 23, 50, 9, 18, 61 and 32. We move on to the next element that is 9 which is again less than pivot. Thus swapping it with 50 makes our array as 23, 9, 50, 18, 61 and 32. 
Similarly, for next element 18, which is less than 32, the array becomes 23, 9, 18, 50, 20, 61, 32. Now, 61 is greater than 32. Hence, no any changes done. Lastly, we swap our pivot with 50 so that it becomes to the current position, correct position. Thus, the pivot 32 comes at its actual position and all elements to the left are lesser and all elements to the right are greater than itself. The, coming to the next space, the main array after the first step becomes 29, sorry, 23, 9, 18, 32, 61 and 50. Now, the list is divided into two equal parts, sublist before pivot element and sublist after pivot element. Repeat the same steps for the left side and right sublist recursively. The final array thus becomes 9, 18, 23, 32, 50 and 61. Now let us try to understand quicksort algorithm with an example. Let us understand the time complexity and space complexity of quicksort. The best case scenario occurs when the partitions are as evenly balanced as possible. That is, their size on either side of the pivot element are either are equal or have size difference of one of each other. The case one, the case when size of sublist on either side of pivot becomes equal which occurs when the subarray has an odd number of elements and the pivot is right in middle after partitioning. Each partition will have n minus 1 by 2 elements. The other case is the size difference of 1 between the two sublists on either side of pivot happens if the subarray has even number that is n or number of elements. One partition will have n by 2 elements with the other having n by 2 minus 1 elements. In either of the cases, each partition will have at most n by 2 elements. The best com case complexity of quicksort algorithm is big O of n log n. The worst case scenario, this happens when we encounter the most unbalanced partitions possible. Then the original call takes n time. The recursive call on n minus 1 elements will take n minus 1 times. 
the reverse recursive call on n minus 2 elements will take n minus 2 time and so on. The worst case time complexity of quicksort would be big O of n square. 